I'm not gonna say, oh, I'm not gonna say I feel confident about this next plan, but I will say, bloody hell, I feel okay about it. This is not gonna solve world hunger. Oh, for God's sake. Bob's your uncle. So we try to time our chores so that we're doing inside work on days when the weather is not very nice out. Like inside work is um, soap making, all of the that stuff, uh, wine cellar chores, and um, as much as we can, you know. Time is not always on our side. The horses might need to be fed in the middle of a snowstorm. But for the most part, if I can juggle my chores between um, indoors and outdoors when the conditions are appropriate, then that's what we try to do. Today would be a good outside chore day now that it's shaping up. But Jeff is here from work for um, a little bit. So there's some work to be done in the winery that he is going to... It's, it's just a lot easier with two of us, so... Um, we're gonna do that. I have to say I feel kind of bad that Jeff works on his two days off, but he seems to like it, so what are you gonna do? Besides that, when you're self-employed, do you ever really have days off? It's time to check on the wine. Uh, crap. This is not a good sign at all. Gosh dang it. <sighs> My wine. I don't know what happened. It spilled. Gosh dang it. And this didn't spill and the airlock still has a bit of like so 2 in it so I'm happy about that this one's probably okay but I'm gonna have to test these and in order to do that um, I have to clean that out I'm gonna have to pull samples crap good morning it's a little bit windy and gray and blah. Here's my friend Wishbone. Hi, sweet boy. He's kind of camera shy, kind of like Jeff, but he does love a good cuddle. Hi, sweet boy. Hi, sweet boy. Yeah. Uh, so Jeff and I met with our wine consultants yesterday. It's a husband and wife team. They make awesome wine. They came by and uh, checked out our operation. We took a mess of samples and it was, we were really busy, so I didn't video any of it, but I can show you around. They gave us basically a plan of action that we are implementing today. And that is, we are taking certain batches of wine and starting to warm them up. So we're gonna put aquarium tank heaters in the tanks and space heaters and a tarp and all that kind of stuff. We'll warm them up and start malolactic fermentation. And that will be, today we'll set everything up and then the fermentation will probably start in a couple days after everything's warmed up. So, exciting times. All right, see you soon.
Yeah, this is a 2021 Salem Cheval Cab Franc. So, I'm most anxious for it to come out awesome. I think Cab Franc does really well out here. From Red Mountain, this is a very unique opportunity to get to make this wine as a single varietal. I want it closer to the middle, so I'm gonna have to move it around. architecture but um, it's gonna keep the heat in so under that is about 775 gallons of wine which we're gonna heat up Woo! over the next day or so it won't take long it's about 60 65 in here it needs to get up to 75 so greetings from inside the tent all right, we have everything plugged in and warming up and covered with tarps. I'm gonna, that's kind of my in and out door, so I'm gonna pull that shut. But otherwise, um, it looks pretty rustic. It's very primitive, a little bit redneck, but uh, I like it. I think it's gonna work and it's gonna warm up fast, I can tell. I have a heater in this corner, a little space heater, and a heater in the far corner, so they're on the diagonal. And then I have two big tanks here that have aquarium tank heaters in them. So I'm thinking this will get up to temp pretty quickly. Hey, so I'm in the magic tent. Today is January 14th. We'll give these about a month and then we'll probably rack into different vessels. I think when we rack, we're going to move this stuff everything that's in these poly tanks into um, barrels and neutral barrels, which means they've already been used once and they don't impart very much oak. And then I can add or remove oak using chips or staves or cubes and I can show you what those look like. All right, as promised, here are the oak staves I'm talking about that you can add to your barrel. Here, I'll just lay them out on a case pallet here. So it's a chain of oak. And over here we have, these are the cubes that you can add. These are in a cheese cloth. Oh my God, they smell amazing. And that's that. Okay, here's the little villa. Yay. It's a fort. Okay, this is done. I'm super excited. Um, the word on the street from the vineyard manager for Ciel de Cheval is that people are, you know, aging their Ciel de Cheval wine for two to three years. And I know our 2020 is right on track to be released at two. So right now it's a year and a half. Um, we may bottle it by March, but I kind of have my doubts. There's some pressure to have a release in March because we have a club release, but, you know, we will sell no wine before it's time, right? We'll see how it goes. It's, ah, oh, jeepers, creepers. It's really lovely stuff, but what if it could be lovelier? We're, because we're so small, it gives us an advantage that... Um, I don't feel like there's that pressure to release just like on a specific schedule every year or every six months or whatever. Firstly, we can't. We just don't even have that volume of wine. Secondly, um, 
I really want a good reputation for just something special. I know our grapes are special. Um, we've had consultations and visits and, you know, tons of input from awesome, awesome winemakers helping us out. I don't want to just basically shit can all that uh, just to make a buck. That's our theory on that is we got to do right by the wine do our very, very, very best job to turn out a really quality product that people can enjoy and that they would be proud to give as a gift or share at their dinner table or drink alone. That's our working theory right now. I'm going to turn Susie loose. As you can see, it looks like, I don't know, this is what I think England must be like. Green and gray. But uh, I'm going to turn Susie back out with the horses because she had her morning snack. And uh, that's the end of that chore.